All right, so we got Stalker 2 Heart of Chronicle exclusive Smoking Barrels gameplay trailer. Let's get to the videos, man. Let's get right into it. See what they're talking about, man. Made in Ukraine. We know that. We know that. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. The zone was never a friendly place. Scenic and breathtaking, yes. But don't be fooled. Gunfire in the zone hasn't subsided for many years. Which is why you won't find a person here without a weapon. Oh, and if snap. you need one, you might like come Florida. across dashes left by stalkers who decided to hide their guns and best gear for the future. Before heading out on your next adventure, check your gear. Repair it if needed. Otherwise, you may face, well, consequences. And don't forget, uh -oh. without ammo, your piece is useless. Be sure to know where you're heading so you can grab the ammo wow. type you want. So this is like... Especially this... if you need something unique. It's kind of like realistic in a way. There's a tool for every scenario. Depending on what kind of stalker you are and how you prefer to navigate the zone, you can upgrade your best friend with various attachments found along the way, installing them on the go to adapt to the exact Ooh, fight. I like that. I like that. Okay, so you can actually just install them like right there. You don't, oh. you don't. You don't need like a crafting table like Minecraft, you know. You just have to hit fire. I kind of like that. I, I like that mechanic. That little thing that Call of Duty has, like the, that appears like uh, around and the wall, hey, like that. If you want to stick with your firearm for a bit longer and customize it further, technicians will be happy to assist, but not for free. These guys can repair and upgrade your gear to suit your gunfight style, making it more specialized Yo, they for really specific greedy circumstances. Out here. Bro, what they? Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry to pause it, but what you, bro? What are you selling this for, bro? What, what's you, what are you going to spend the money on? Bro, there's nothing. There's no businesses or nothing, bro. I can see if there was like a like a like a chicken and fish shop down the street. There's nothing around. What, what do we? What, what? Or vice versa, turning it into a versatile tool for any situation. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it. Yep, kill, it, kill. It. Is a unique place, but the laws of physics and ballistics still apply. Each gun feels wow. and fires differently, and its effectiveness depends on the distance and the type of armor you're up against. Wow. Hey, do you, I like That's that feature. Why, I like friend, that. Preparation is key to survival. I, I like that but feature. Don't forget, this place is full of surprises. Oh, oh, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Brother, you the are not trying to no scope that thing. Are you serious? Expect the unexpected. The better your chances of living another day, exploring her mysteries and secrets, and reaching the goal November 20th, you yep. set for yourself. Stalker 2 Heart of Chronicle coming out November 20th. We're definitely going to check out gameplay whenever the game uh, first comes out. We're going to check out the story as well. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for this game to actually come out, bro. And it's actually coming out, man. Uh, bro, first of all, I'm really proud of the game, you know, coming out, man. Especially, you know, we we actually reacted to um, a video. I think it was last month or the month before where, uh, bro, where the Stalker team, obviously, like, bro, they're based in Ukraine. And obviously, they got the whole war going on, man. Um, and the fact they was able, like, you know, to finish this game and get it out, bro. It's absolutely crazy. You, you listen. You already know I'm gonna be there first dibs. Um, you know, whenever the story and stuff come out, man, really excited about it. Um, all right, let's talk about like the, the like the actual mechanics and stuff like that. So, this game is really realistic. They're taking like the whole like realistic wave to it. To be honest, right? And I'll be honest. Like um, the games like like um, like Stalker games like Escape from Tarkov, where like realism is in like a not realism as in like oh, okay like. Like the guys just sitting down eating McDonald's and then, you know, he knows it's something. He gets up, pulls out the gun and everything's in like one fellow animation, whatever. No, I'm some other realism in like gunplay. The thing is, I don't you rarely even see that nowadays because obviously like, you know, in a lot of these like, you know, uh, first person shooter games or whatever. Um, it's mainly like everybody has like their own like, you know, concept and stuff like that. Obviously, um, Call of Duty, 
Uh, you would have, let's see, uh, Apex Legends. What's another first-person shooter game at the top of my head? Um, I don't know. Uh, X Defiant, etc. cetera. Um, at the end of the day, like, what I'm trying to say is everybody has their own, like, concept whenever it co uh, comes to game um, gunplay. So at the end of the day, like, the, thing, the fact that you can actually, like, you know, pick up gun attachments off the ground and then add it to, like, your inventory and then, like, you can, like, just clip it on right there, I think that's really hard. Instead of, like, you know, you making, like, a... I don't know, like a loadout or something like that. You can actually just, you know, find different types of, like, you know, uh, like gun attachments or whatever, then add it right there. I think that's actually pretty cool. There's also a thing to where, like, whenever you're, like, you're hiding behind, like, a, like a wall or like a box or something like that, and you peer around the corner, Call of Duty has the exact same thing to where, like, you're kind of, like, edging on, like, uh, what, what's the word? Um, mounting, mounting. It's called mounting, where, like, whenever, like, you're kind of, like, mounting on, like, the corner of a wall and, like, you peer around it, I love that feature a lot in Call of Duty. I can't lie to you. I use that feature a lot in my in my cheese ball in Call of Duty. I am a cheese ball. I'm not, that, bro, that doesn't mean that I'm good, but I, I do cheese a lot in Call of Duty. Um, so they def they definitely do uh, get like the gun plan and stuff like that down on lock. Um, obviously, I mean like the way they show it, like the way they show like the gunplay, whatever in the trailer. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be playing like that in real life. Like like the whole like no scoping thing at the end. I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody, nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, is going to try to no-scope this big Kevin Durant beast at the end. I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody's trying to do that. Nobody. So they're probably going to pull out some type of AK or whatever and aim. Um, but whenever it actually comes to, like, you know, the the gun, like the gun, like uh, the actual gunplay and stuff like that, bro, I do like that a lot, bro. I do like that a lot. I love the environment. Basically, everything that I'm saying now, bro, I I've said, like, the previous, like, Stalker 2, Heart of uh, Chronicle. Um, and if I said, you know, Chronicle wrong, um, my bad. I'm gonna stick to Chronicle though, bro. It just sounds cool. Heart of Chronicle. It just sounds cool. Let, bro, just let me live. Other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about Heart of Chron uh, Stalker 2 Heart of Chronicle coming out on November 20th? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna be completely real. I didn't think this game was coming out at all. Um, the fact they was actually managed to, like, you know, still work in this game while they're, like, in a war and stuff like that, bro. It, it's crazy. So, um, big shout out, man, to the Stalker team, man. Hopefully. Uh, you know, the game is good, bro. I'm praying that the game is good, you know, because, I mean, you know, and I don't really do this. Like, and, and I'll probably say, like, I, I am a little biased. I am a little biased because I wasn't there from the beginning, beginning, but I was there when, you know, uh, with their teaser trailers, with their, um, like, with their, like, game plays and stuff like that. I was there reacting to it, you know, trying to get feedback. Obviously, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I was still trying to get feedback of what I like, what I didn't like, or whatever. Um, and so, if this game really does good, man, I'm going to be really happy. But if it does bad, uh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say if it does better or not. I'm going to tell the truth or whatever. But comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? See you guys at this mount. And peace out, you